This is a video about keeping an eye out for inferences. And as always, I'm starting out with a blank SketchUp document. And as always, I'm going to get rid of Bryce. Sorry, Bryce. Okay. So what we've got is inferences. Now, inferences are basically little hints that SketchUp gives you to let you know uh, where you are on your model when you're drawing and when you're modeling, just so that you can be a little bit more accurate, actually a lot more accurate. And uh, you're actually seeing one of the inferences right now. Do you notice at the end of the little pencil tool, the line tool cursor, there's a, a dark blue square that says on face? Well, that inference is called a point inference, and it's a, its specific type of point inference is the on face inference. It's telling me that, see, it's not, it doesn't exist when I'm not on the face, but as soon as I'm on the face, it sort of appears and says I'm on the face. Now, let's look for some more inferences. Okay, if I'm on an edge, then I get an on edge inference and it's kind of red. If I'm at a corner point, I get an end point. Now, end point is also going to exist even if I'm just at the, uh, let's say, oops, let's grab the pencil tool to do that instead. If I draw an edge kind of overlapping another edge, what I'm going to end up with is an end point there as well because what I have now is two edge segments, one here and one here. So watch these little inferences that are happening. Let's go ahead and just uh, erase those two edge segments and use the pencil tool to bring that back. Okay, so let's go back to the pencil. Now, what I've got is endpoint, on edge, there's one, it's midpoint, which tells me I'm exactly at the midpoint on this edge. Now, if I go ahead and do this again, what I did before, which is basically split this edge into two edges using the pencil tool, notice I'm going to end up with two midpoint inferences now. This now is not the midpoint of this whole edge segment, it's the midpoint of this edge segment that I was just drawing right here. Okay, so there's a midpoint one. Let's um let's look for another another inference. So let's go ahead and draw an edge across there, and I'm going to hit Escape on my keyboard to stop drawing a line. Now, if I go to the intersection of these two, notice how I'm getting a black box this time, and it says intersection. That intersection is telling me that I'm uh, at the point where this edge and that edge intersect. Okay, let's go back and get the eraser tool again. Just like this, I'm going to get the push-pull tool and push this up. Now, I ended up with an edge there because I, this edge was actually two edges. What I can do is um, undo a couple steps. I'm going to hit Control z or Apple-Z on a Mac to undo a couple steps. Boop, boop. There we go. Let's just go ahead and use the pencil tool to redraw that edge and then use the push-pull tool to pull that up. Now you see I didn't end up with that extra edge there because this edge segment was was solid. Uh, let's go ahead and use the circle tool right there. And another inference that I'm going to get is with the pencil tool you'll see I get a center inference. So the point inferences that we just talked about, end point, midpoint, on edge, on face, and center. And also intersection which uh, I showed you before was the intersection between two edges. Okay, I'm going to use the eraser tool. Let's start talking about some of the linear inferences, the other kind of inferences that you can get in SketchUp. As I draw here, let's say coming off of this edge, my line turns red, and that's telling me that I'm parallel to the red axis, right? We covered that in the previous video. Let's actually draw in the green direction instead. That means that I'm parallel to the green axis. And that is a linear inference telling me what direction I'm drawing in. So the fact that the edge turns color as I draw is actually a type of inference. It's a linear inference. Um, we call it the on-axis inference. Here's another example of the on-axis inference. Let's select this whole thing and then use the move tool to move it around. Notice how that little red dotted line appears? That's an on-axis linear inference that tells me what direction I'm moving things in. So there's green and there's blue. So that dotted line is a linear inference, again an on-axis inference, that uh, just tells us what direction we're going in. And these things automatically happen. There's no way to turn them off in SketchUp. Uh, they just are always on and they're, they're super helpful for telling you what you're actually doing. If I want to cancel the move operation, I'm just going to hit Escape to stop moving. Let's uh, talk about some more inferences. Okay, so let's uh, deselect that box and I'll go up and get the line tool again. I'm going to come over in the red direction, then I'm going to come back in the green direction. Actually, you know what? Let's take the eraser tool. I'm going to do this in a different way. Let's get the pencil. 
come over in the red direction and up in the green direction I want to draw exactly as far as this point over here so what I'm going to do is come up until I see that from point inference now that's another type of linear inference called a from point linear inference and they appear to sort of tell me when I'm lined up with things so that little dotted red line that says from point tells me I'm exactly lined up with this other corner of the box which which helped me draw a little bit more accurately all right let's talk about a parallel and perpendicular um, linear inference what I'll do is I'll knock the corner off of this guy there we go so that we get an edge that isn't parallel to any of the axes and I'm going to use this line tool and what I want to do is draw an edge that's perpendicular to the edge that I started drawing from so watch what happens there you go it's kind of um, I think we call it magenta but really it's kind of pink or purple to me and it's perpendicular to edge so let's draw that edge right there and you'll see that that edge that I drew is, is actually perpendicular right there now let's say I wanted to draw an edge just from kind of nowhere and I wanted to draw it parallel to this edge over here what I'm gonna do notice how I'm just getting crazy inferences all over the place and especially if I zoom out if I'm trying to draw over here and I can't I can't see anything it's a mess so what I'm gonna do and this is a hint in SketchUp you always always zoom in as much as you possibly can it's gonna inf it's gonna uh, help you draw because you're not going to be confused by all the other inferences that SketchUp is trying to give you. So what I'm going to do is kind of come over here and say I want to be, I'm sort of sampling this edge, I want to be parallel to that edge. So I'm going to draw along in this parallel direction and hit escape to end that line and what I've just done is I've drawn an edge that's exactly parallel to this other edge by just kind of sampling from it and the only way I sample is to hover that's uh, you don't have to press any special buttons or anything like that you're just you're just kind of hovering to do that okay let's talk about another type of inference let me grab the eraser tool and kind of erase some of this stuff away let's grab the arc and draw a big old arc that's kind of like that okay what I'm gonna do is draw another arc coming off the end of this arc and notice what happens by default I get this nice cyan arc and it says tangent at vertex the default when you're drawing arcs in SketchUp is to allow you to draw tangent arcs, meaning, watch this, I'm going to click once and then click again to finish drawing that arc. What this means is the point at which those two arcs connect to each other, right here, that's a straight line. And that means that that's a nice smooth curve now. Now if I had not drawn that as a tangent at vertex arc, watch this, if I draw it like this instead, and then come over and look at it, Notice how the angle where those two arcs meet is not actually a straight line, it's angled. So that tangent at vertex um, cyan inference actually really helps me draw nice smooth flowing arcs in SketchUp. I'll do it again. Here we go. Let's draw an arc. I'm going to click and then click again without moving the mouse. And now I've ended up with an arc that connects to another arc in a nice smooth flowing way. All right. Let's talk about one last inference, and this is an inference that lots of people don't actually think about in SketchUp, but watch this. If I just start drawing anywhere in SketchUp, I'm actually more or less drawing on the ground, except that, watch, I'm going to leave that mistake in there too. I wasn't really paying attention. SketchUp didn't understand where I meant to be drawing, so it just ended up drawing a shape over here kind of any which way. I'm not happy with any of that, so I'm just going to erase that should hopefully in your mind reinforce the idea that you need to be pretty precise about where you're drawing or at least orbit a lot so that you can figure out what's going on in three dimensions. The inference that I wanted to talk about though was the ground inference and that just means that basically if you're drawing kind of carefully oops it happened again it happened again let me undo a couple steps as long as you're kind of just drawing out in the middle of space what you'll end up doing is drawing on the ground and that happens more or less um, what I just demonstrated is that it doesn't always happen so that's why I say more or less alright that concludes the video on keeping an eye out for inferences